All right, all right, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. This video here is going to go over creating clip art PNG files for your Etsy store or your own store that you have. But basically today, I want to do a quick tutorial to show you how I get started in research and how I get to where I get to when I am creating my clip art for my store that I currently have. So right now we're on insightfactory.app, which is a great site. It tells you about trends, products. It also gives you the tags and the titles and descriptions to trending stores on Etsy. So as you can see, I'm going to head over to my dashboard. And when I click on dashboard, you're going to see at the top where you see highlighted Etsy trending search terms. And because I've done some research already, I want to do some black girl clip art. So I'm going to go ahead and click on black girl clip art. And now I'm going to just look through to see. And here it just shows all the top sales potential. And that's what it's sorted by. But I want to search by competition because I like to see what is selling what keywords and what has low competition, but what's still getting sales. So as you can see, a lot of black girl elf clip art, chibi dolls, and I'm going to continue to go down. I like this bohemian black girl. I like the self-care. And I ended up here, black girl reading clip art. So I want to go here and I'm going to click on that and it's going to take some time. And basically it's going to find all the popular results of black girl reading clip art within the story, right? So as you can see, there are different types of clip art that pop up and we have a lot of different things. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at this listing here. So I just click on it and it takes me directly to the Etsy listing, which is so cool. And as you can see, this is a watercolor cozy clip art, black woman clip art, book lover, coffee clip art, self-care. So we have this going on today. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the other listing that we saw, which was, I believe down here, right? Because these two look very similar. So I'm assuming it's from probably the same store, which it is. So I really like the way this clip art is looking. This is watercolor. I am really digging this a lot, right? So I want to go ahead and head over to my mid journey and I want to start to create some clip art, right? So now I'm going to head over to my mid journey, which is an AI tool used to create art. So now I'm heading over. And as you can see, I started working on some clip art already. But for this tutorial, I'm going to show you all how I did this from the beginning. So we'll generate a couple of pieces of clip art. And then we are going to show how to upscale it, upload it into your Canva library, save it with the transparent background, and then we'll be good to go. So I'm heading up to the top. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start from the very beginning. And when I first started, I initially started with some actual uh, reading book planners. So I'm going to copy this prompt. What I want to do is I'm going to copy the text and I'm going to do a backslash imagine because that's what you have to do inside of mid journey to be able to do your prompt. And I'm going to actually take out stickers and I'm just going to, because I found that when I take out stickers, I get, I don't get the white outlines and I'm just going to do some different colors. So I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the pink blush and maybe let's add in like, let's add in like a brown, right? So we'll do brown with the pink blush illustration on the on this sketch pad, let me take out this as well. Otherwise, it's going to give me a wrong rendering. And now, and I could take out the two asterisks as well. And now I'm just going to wait for Mid Journey to populate some reading books, right? So we're going to wait for it to give us some reading books. And while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and grab some other prompts. I'm going to grab this prompt as well. Oh, I didn't put white background. So well, I think it is on a white background, but we'll see. And we're going to grab that because we want to create, we just want to get some prompts going here. And I'm just deleting out the end. Otherwise, it's not going to generate. All right, so we're going to do curly here with books in our hand. We're going to do pink blush. We're going to do brown. 
pink blush and we're gonna hit enter now we're waiting on that so as you can see the first picture it generated i like this first one here and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to click this regenerate button and it's gonna give me another another image because i'm not really filling all of these but i do like the top one the top one is not so bad so what i could do is i could go in um and upscale so upscale one corresponds to the pictures they're in four so one two three four so i want to do upscale one because I want to take this picture just alone. So now it's going to upscale, right? So now I have this picture and what I could do is just right click and then I'll just save the image and it's just going to save to my computer, right? So we're waiting for the image to save and we're going to save the image. It's going to go to my downloads, right? And we'll just save it inside of the downloads, right? So now it's saved there. Now we're going to go down and look to see what it generated for these. Okay, so... I do like, let's see which ones I like. I like the second one, looks pretty cool. As you can see the rest of them is not, it doesn't really make sense. So I'll do, and we're gonna do that. I like this one here. Let's open this up in the browser. So I wanna save this. And we're gonna save this image as well. I like that she has the books in her hand and we're gonna save this one. So this is gonna save to my downloads as well. Uh, let's go back to downloads hit save so now we have that right so now we have those and let's see okay so we've generated better pictures here so i'm gonna do a u3 and i'm gonna do u2 so we're gonna upscale those and then i think i'm gonna resave this one because i think it's saved as a web page instead of a png and you also get the zoom in and you can see that is saving as a PNG, right? You'll see it at the top. So now I'm just gonna exit out. We're gonna go back. All right, I'm really liking these a lot. I'm gonna open this in another browser. Right click, I'm gonna save this image inside of my downloads. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Open it up, save the image. Again, we're going to save it to our download. So we got about four and maybe I might do one more. I also like the way the bookshelves came out. So let me go back up to the bookshelf and let's just get a bookshelf. Oh, and then I do want to get a couch as well. So let's just get a bookshelf like this. So we'll copy this again. And again, we'll backslash hit imagine. So that way we're going to delete out the rest of it. So now we got to change it to the brown because we want to keep the palettes consistent in color. And we're going to wait for that to go. And then I want to get a actual sofa as well. So let's go back up to one of the sofas so we can actually get a sofa. Um, Let's see which sofa did I like. Well, actually, we could, since we're going to do this one, it'll pop. Let's see what this generates first. It might have a sofa next to it. So, yep. So that's perfect. So that way we can uh, have her standing next to it as well. So this looks really cool. Just waiting on this to generate. And once this generates, I'm going to then upscale it and we'll show you how to upscale those as well. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm really feeling this. So what I'm going to do is, well, actually, I don't know if it was finished. So, all right, here it is. I, I want to use all of them. So I'm going to open up all four of these, but I'm also going to just save one as well. So save this image. And then I'm going to go to the bottom one and save that one as well. So again, this is going to go into the downloads and we're going to save that. And then I also just want to extract the last one. So I'm going to do U4 and I'm going to open this up and we're going to make this the last one that we save. And we're going to go to downloads and we're going to save this. All right. So now I have a good amount of clip art saved. So now we're going to go to a website called mydesigns.io. And as you can see, some designs here. And I'm going to go to upload because I want to remove the background. You can also remove the background inside of Canva as well. But I'm going to remove the background here. And 
I'm going to drag and drop the files and I will just go ahead and upload her, upload all, ready, upload designs. Well, you'll select the picture that you want. You'll go to all actions and you'll hit remove background, but I'm also going to upscale this image. So I want to upscale this image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upscale it. And also I'm going to show you another way to upscale as well. So if I go to bigjpg.com, I could upscale the image in here as well. So I'm going to do the same thing here and we're going to click start and we're going to upscale it four times at the highest and we're going to click OK. Right. And then we're going to wait for that to upscale. And while it's doing that, we are going to move into our Canva document. So I'm inside of here and I already started working on uh, one project already. So I'll just open that one up. And then also let's just check back on our listing because it's going to take some time to upscale that. And the reason why you want to upscale because you want the image to be in a fine quality. So that's why. But in the meantime, once you upscale all your images, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to upload and you'll want to start uploading your files. in, right. So you click on upload at the top and I'm going to go to downloads. Oh, we're already in downloads, which is perfect. And I'm just going to hold over all these images and I'm going to upload all of them inside of here. Now all the Im images are inside of my file, which is cool. And then I'm going to go back to home. All right. Now I'm back at home and now I'm just going to do, well, let's check on the other file to see if it is done uploading. I mean, upscaling. All right, we see that. Okay, cool. So now we're going to download this. Now that we have it ready, we'll hit download. And as you can see, it went into the download. And then we'll go back to home on the Canva page because this is where you will need to drag in your images as well as you can remove the background. So we're going to go here and we're going to wait till the Canva document pulls up. And now we're going to go to upload. So now we're going to upload this document here again, choose files. We'll click upload. It will take the current file. So as you can see, this is the newest version of it upscale. So we want to do that. We're going to click use in new design custom size, right? It's for 4096 by 4096. And we'll just, you know, keep it at the default. You could make it smaller if you want to. That is totally fine. And now it's going to bring that image inside, which is awesome, right? So now we have the image inside of here, which is great. And we're going to go to uploads and we're going to see all of our images inside of here. As you can see, I've already uploaded them. And what I want to do is I'm going to, and I'm going to take this inside of here and then I'm just going to drag in some of these photos that we've done. Now, mind you, you will upscale all of these, but I just want to drag these in, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these, make these as big as I can. I'm going to click on edit photo and I'm going to remove the background. You have to have the pro version, anything with the crown version inside of Canva, you have to have the pro version in order to do this. I have the pro version, of course. So I am going to everything inside of here, right? And I just like to drag it out to the corners remove the background, right? Again, drag it out to the corners, remove the background, and then I'll do the same thing for this, right? And then we'll remove the background. Okay, so perfect. Now that we have all of our images here, you can hit the grid view and now you can see you have some nice watercolor clip art that you can now upload to your shop. And if you wanna see it bigger, you can hit it bigger and I really like it. She has books in her hand. This is definitely giving me reading clip vibes. And also another thing that we could do is we can actually move this image down some and we could actually take her and I would do a full body. I'm gonna duplicate this and I would actually do a full body so you can see her legs and I could show you how I did this in one of my other designs, but I would paste her here and you can actually create scenes as well. So this is perfect, right? So I could have her standing next to the bookshelf. So we would make this probably a little bit bigger. 
move it over, move her down some, because you want to make sure the aspect ratio and size is good. And now you can hit the shift key, select both of these, hit group, and now you can move these together, right? So now we have a really cool design together with her standing actually next to to the bookshelf, which I really like. But basically that's what you would do. And then you would go ahead and go in and you hit the share, you would click download. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do one. And again, you have to have the pro version. So I'm gonna click transparent background and I'm gonna click download. Now, when you download the transparent background, it's gonna take that white background out. And now you're no longer able to see that. And that's how you wanna deliver your clip art files, right? So now I could click on this design and you will see that it's going to be a transparent background. So we have removed the background again. The Canva Pro version is what you'll need to be able to get those transparent backgrounds or that mydesigns.io will remove the background as well. But as you can see, there's no background in the back and this image looks gorgeous. I love it. We upscaled it and you can totally see the difference from the first image to this one here. So we'll go and we'll look at the one inside of here so you could just see the difference. But you can see like it's not the same and let's open it in a different browser so we could actually see it bigger, but it's more it's less pixelated. So inside of here, you see her face is kind of a little pixelated, but the newer design, it selects less pixelated. And as you can see, it's definitely more radiant, right? So we love that. And that is how you would go ahead and go in. And then you will prepare your document to be sold. And you will go in and take, this is something that I did. And then you will get it ready for a document and you can sell it like this, right? You'll want to display it in a way on Etsy that is attractive. Right. And you'll put all your designs inside of here. Right. And make it attractive to sell. And now you have it. So if you like this video and you want more, share it with somebody who you feel needs to watch this. Comment, like and share, share it, share it, share it. I look forward to making more videos. Leave below what other videos you are looking forward to hearing. And I will see you all next time.